Chloe Petz. Hello, hello. Hey, guys, it's an absolute pleasure to be here. Uh, my name is Chloe Petz. I'm a very masculine woman. Uh, so everywhere I go, I get called sir. So uh, pre, pre-coronavirus, I went into a travel lodge. I went up to the hotel assistant, and, and he was like, how can I help you, sir? And I was like, listen, mate, it's actually madam, but don't worry about it. It happens all the time. And he goes, oh, my God, I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> oh, OK, sick, I guess we're going with that one. Nice one, thank you, mate. Uh, but I, so, so I sort of haven't always been this masculine. I used to sort of try and assimilate into straight culture and pretend that I was one of the straights. Uh, but I wasn't very good at it. So I remember when I was 15 years old, I was sat around uh, watching the telly with a bunch of my girlfriends. And they were going around the circle talking about all the boys that they fancied, right? And it goes around the circle and it gets to me and they're like, oh, Chloe, who do you think's hot? And I just panicked, looked at the telly and went, Oh, um, I don't know, he's quite fit. Uh, that was Claire Balding. <laughs> <laughs> Pointed at Claire Balding. Uh, but my friends are kind of like, uh, got used to the fact that I get misgendered now. But what I try to explain to them is it happens a lot more than the untrained I might realise. So there's this very specific time when I'm queuing in a bar and I'm pressed up a guy, uh, against a bunch of people and a guy wants to get past me. If he thinks I'm a man or if he thinks I'm a woman, he'll treat me in two really different ways. So if he thinks I'm a man, what he'll do is he'll start by putting his hand on my shoulder and then he'll go, sorry, mate. Uh, and then he'll put his dick as far away from my ass as possible. <laughs> so not to be mistaken for a homosexual at any point <laughs> in that social transaction. That's the first way if he thinks I'm a man. If he thinks I'm a woman, what he'll do is he'll start much the same, hand on shoulder, but this time he'll say, sorry, love. Uh, then he'll run his hands down my back, grow me by the hip, shag me a little bit and just pop me out the way. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you've got to stop doing that. Um, uh, <laughs> So as a very masculine woman, I often find myself in sort of quite traditionally masculine spaces. So I go to the football a lot. I'm a big football fan. Uh, but I get a lot of sexism when it comes to football, right? Like, uh, men don't seem to think that I can know as much about the game as, as they do. It's like they don't think I've got time to both watch Match of the Day and buy sanitary products. Um, <laughs> but the key thing about that is you stockpile in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> So you're ready for when the season starts in the winter. So I'm a big Crystal Palace fan. I go to the games all the time. Uh, we play at a ground called Celes Park, and the atmosphere is absolutely incredible. And the reason the atmosphere is amazing is because there's this group of fans called the Fanatics, and they uh, write all their own songs and sing them. And some of the songs they write are very nuanced, very interesting. I'm going to sing one for you now, very nuanced, very interesting. This one goes, Oh, South London! It's wonderful. Oh, South London is wonderful. It's full of tits, Fanny and Palace. Oh, South London is wonderful. Very nuanced. <laughs> Very interesting piece of work there. <laughs> now, guys, obviously, 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 I find that song problematic. Obviously, I do. Because I do love all three of those things. <laughs> but I can't help thinking they miss some of the cultural highlights that South London has to offer. Like, yes, we've got tits, Fanny and Palace. But we've also got the Dulwich Picture Gallery, right? Loads of big Tesco's. The tube to North London. We've got it all. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you've been an absolute pleasure. I've been Chloe Petz. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you, Chloe. Chloe Petz, ladies and gentlemen.